Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Amia. In this episode, we're gonna look at AWS Messaging Services, SNS, SQS, and SES. SQS, Simple Queue Service, is one of the oldest AWS offerings. SQS is a fully managed, push and pull, message queuing service, that enables you to decouple and scale microservices, distributed systems, and serverless applications. A message queue is like message buffering, where you can buffer background tasks. For example, you are running an online shopping site. Whenever a user places an order, you can capture the payment information and send a message to SQS. While the ordering system is processing the order, the background system can run some fraud detection algorithms. When a forged credit card is detected, your system will label the transaction with high risk and send you a notification. SQS uses the push-pull model. The producer application pushes the message to the queue, the consumer application pulls the message from the queue. The consumer only checks for new messages periodically and process them with some delay. There are two types of SQS queues. We have standard queues and FIFO queues. A standard queue delivers messages at least once, out of order. FIFO stands for first in first out. A FIFO queue delivers messages exactly once, always in the FIFO order. Here is how SQS works. We have an order processing application acting as a producer at the back end of an online shopping site. The producer keeps sending messages to the message queue. Messages arrive in the queue and wait for the consumer to check the message. A consumer can be a credit card validation logic running on an EC2 instance. The validation process of each transaction can take some time. Time varies depending on each transaction. Therefore the validation process should be running on the background. For example, there might be more validation steps for potentially high-risk transactions, fewer steps for normal transactions. The consumer checks additional messages after current message has been processed. New messages continue to arrive and wait in the queue. Because there is a processing delay from the consumer, SQS suits applications that need some logic decoupling and can tolerate delay. In a standard queue, a message is delivered at least once, but occasionally more than one copy of a message are delivered. It tries its best to keep messages in order. However, occasionally, messages might be delivered in an order that is different from which they were sent. In a FIFO queue, a message is delivered only once and remains available until the consumer processes it and deletes it. The first in first out order is strictly preserved. SNS, Simple Notification Service, is a highly available, durable, secure, fully managed PubSub messaging service. PubSub means publishing and subscription. A PubSub model allows you to publish messages and set up various subscription endpoints to receive messages. A publisher sends a message to an SNS topic. SNS delivers the message to subscribers directly. For example, you can set up an AWS billing alarm with CloudWatch and SNS. CloudWatch is the publisher, which publishes a message to the SNS topic whenever the AWS usage is over the threshold. SNS then immediately sends an email notification to you. In this case, your email address is the subscriber. SNS can fan out messages to a few subscription endpoints for parallel processing. SNS matches the topic with a list of subscribers and sends the messages in near real time. There are various types of subscription endpoints, including SQS, AWS Lambda, HTTP webhooks, mobile push notifications, text messages and emails. We have a publisher, topic and a few subscribers. The publisher sends messages to the topic. A publisher can be an AWS service such as CloudWatch. For example, we can set up a CloudWatch event for S3 bucket, whenever someone uploads an object to a bucket, it will send a message to the topic. We can have a few subscriptions. SNS can fan out messages to these subscription endpoints for parallel processing. We can even set up different SQS queues subscribed to the same SNS topic. For example, we have two EC2 instances processing messages in two SQS queues. Both SQS queues can subscribe to the same SNS topic for order processing. One EC2 instance can process the order fulfillment, the other EC2 instance can run the order analysis. SNS fanout is a very powerful way to decouple application logic with parallel processing. SES, Simple Email Service, 
is a cloud-based email service designed to help digital marketers and applications send marketing emails and transactional notifications. If you have used any email campaign services like MailChimp, SendGrid, SES is a similar cloud-based email service. You can use SES to send promotional emails with custom templates like company branding, and receive emails on your behalf to perform certain actions, such as scanning for spam and viruses. You can analyze the detail of the delivery of your email, such as how many people have received the email or rejected it, how many have opened it and clicked the campaign links. You can use the SMTP interface or SDK to integrate SES with your existing application to send transactional email. For example, you can send a welcome email to users after signing up on your website. In this episode, we've learned different AWS messaging services, SQS, SNS and SES. Simple Queue Service, SQS is a push-pull messaging queue service. A producer sends the message to a message queue. A consumer constantly checks for new messages and processes them. The processing time can vary. Messages can be processed with some delay. Simple Notification Service, SNS is a PubSub messaging service. A publisher sends messages to a topic. SNS delivers the messages to a list of subscribers of the topic. The message delivery is in near real time. Simple Email Service, SES is an AWS email service to send custom emails such as marketing emails and transactional notifications. You can only use SES to send emails. Okay, that's all for AWS messaging services. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode. Hope you've enjoyed watching this episode. If you like the video, please help us and hit the like button. If you want to watch more tutorials, please subscribe to the Cloudemy TV channel. Make sure to turn on the notification and stay tuned. At Cloudemy, we're passionate about cloud and AI technology. Please share your feedback and thoughts in the comments below. Feel free to let us know what topics you'd like to watch. Happy watching and happy learning!